Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, your man from Movie Picks, and here we are in Photoshop Elements 2025, looking at some of the cool new features that have been added to version 2025 of Photoshop Elements. Now there are a number of little features that have been added and tune-ups, but these are three of the major features and three well worth knowing about. And probably the coolest thing about these new features is that they're virtually automatic. They do most of the work by themselves using artificial intelligence. Let me show you what I mean. The first new tool is the Depth Blur tool. We've got a photo of three kids posing here as superheroes. Let's go to the Filter menu at the top of the screen. Select Blur, and from the sub-menu select Depth Blur. It's going to go right to work on this for us automatically. It's going to identify the subject in the picture and automatically blur the background. In this case, I identified all three kids as a subject or foreground in the picture. Now we've got a little hiccup in this picture. If you look at the kid's shoulder here, just right next to his neck, we've got a little blob that should not be there. To get rid of that, I'm just going to refocus the subject by going over here to this window at the top of the Choose Focal Point panel and just moving the focal point a little bit higher. The program's going to automatically reapply the depth blur and this time we don't have that funny hiccup. You can increase the focal range and the blur strength just by using these little sliders here on the right. Watch what happens when I push the blur strength all the way. Now the kids really stand out from the background. So again, almost fully automatically applying a depth blur to our picture. Let's close that one. In this picture, we've got a little boy running toward the camera with his mother and his grandmother behind him. And in this picture, I want to demonstrate the object removal feature that's been added here in version 2025. Object removal is going to actually remove an entire person or an entire object from the picture and do it almost seamlessly. Watch this. Object removal is on the toolbar on the left, sharing space with the spot healing brush and the healing brush. To remove this person from the picture, all I need to do is just draw a circle around her. Now it's a pretty complicated background behind her. We've got trees, we've got rocks, we've got the pathway, but watch this. Fully automatically and using AI, it removed the girl from the picture and the results were almost seamless. You almost wouldn't know she was there. So a really cool tool. And especially if you use it on smaller objects like this design on this little boy's shirt, I'm just going to circle it. And this time it removes it beautifully. You can't even tell anything was even there. So very cool tool. That's the object removal tool. Works entirely by AI. Finally, this is a tool that has replaced photo merge composite. So it's a way to combine two photos. We've got a picture of a girl on the beach in Florida. We've got a picture of a street in a Wisconsin winter. Let's combine these two by going to the image menu and selecting combine photos. This opens up the combine photos workspace and you see we've got the image of the girl over top of the image of the winter scene. Let's make her just a little larger and we'll push her off to the side. You'll notice that your first option is to choose an aspect ratio for your finished picture. And that depends on what social media site you plan to post the picture to. In this particular case, I'm going to leave it as is. I go down to the lower right hand corner and click on the edit button. And here in the edit workspace, I can either remove the background or I can select the object and do some work on the object to remove the background myself. I'm going to just select automatically remove background. We'll see how close it comes to removing the background behind this girl, automatically selecting her using artificial intelligence. Look at that, a great job. I really don't have anything I need to fix or patch. There are tools for selecting or hiding more, but in this particular case, it hit her right on the nose, even got a little bit of a curl on top of her head, and now she's in the picture. Once I'm satisfied with her composite in the picture or her placement in the picture, I can click done and I can shift her position just a little bit by dragging her a little further to the left. And now I have two options. I can either make an artistic picture by blending her into the background or we can 
combine her with the background and make her look more naturally a part of the image or a part of the background. To create something a little more surreal, I use a blending mode. You recognize this menu if you've ever done any blending. Blending mode options for combining how she would combine with the background of this picture. But if you want to make it look more realistic, like she belongs in the picture, you'll go down to the lower right hand corner again and click the match tone button. We select that and now we can make her look less like she's colored by the Florida sun and more like she's colored by the Wisconsin overcast sun. And that can be done automatically by clicking on the auto match color tone button on the right. Click on that. Let's see how well the program does it for us. There it is. It took some of that orange glow from her. We can further adjust that by adjusting color temperature, just moving this little slider to the left a little bit. And now she looks a little more evenly matched with the background. So a surprisingly powerful tool. In fact, all of these tools are surprisingly powerful and surprisingly automatic. New tools that have been added, new features that have been added here in version 2025 of Photoshop Elements. Now, if you want to know more about Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements, I hope you'll check out the many tutorials that we have on the MoviePix channel at youtube.com. I'm Steve. I'm the man from MoviePix. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope I see you again real soon. Take care.